What's up guys, Mr. Reverts here, and today I want to show you guys some of these new weapons that were leaked for Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now, we did just get a couple new weapons a few days ago, but now we have three weapons and then two melee weapons. I can't show them in the video, so you guys can go check them out in the bottom of this video. Naywim is the guy that posted it over on Reddit slash Infinite Warfare. He's a trusted source. He does this kind of stuff often over there, so make sure to go check out the thread if you guys want to. Now, the three weapons we have are the Atlas, the Raijin, and a familiar weapon you guys may remember from Call of Duty Ghost called the Venom X and the Atlas is listed under a light machine gun and you're also going to notice here that it does have this cool little optic attachment on the weapon and uh, I don't know to me the weapon kind of reminds me of a futuristic AUG in a way and then we have the Raijin Dash EMX and this is listed as a submachine gun and it's going to be a three round burst SMG so instantly I'm reminded of the Vesper with his guns in terms of the aesthetics it does remind me of the Vesper uh, but again this will be a three round burst SMG so that's pretty cool a lot of people like myself are happy that uh, uh, there's going to be a SMG 3 on burst gun to Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. And again, I'm really excited to use this weapon. And for the last gun we have, it's called the Venom X from Call of Duty Ghost. You guys may remember that weapon if you played the game back in the day. And I do have some gameplay of it on screen for you guys right now. But uh, the Venom X was a very unique weapon. You can only use this gun on Dome for multiplayer or in Extinction. And I think it's going to act more like a grenade launcher in a way. It kind of reminds me of the China Lake 2. But like I said, it was a very unique weapon because you can choose shoot the projectile with the right trigger and then you could detonate it with the left one so it definitely was a very crazy gun back in the day. Now as for the melee weapons we have a katana and nunchucks. I'm not really too happy with these melee weapons honestly because we've already had nunchucks and a katana back in BO3 and then of course there was the axe that we already have for infinite warfare but the thing about this one is you can actually throw it in the game so that in itself is unique and hopefully the katana and the nunchucks are also unique in their own way so guys I want you all to tell me your thoughts about about these weapons in the comment section down below and again if you guys want to go check out the design of these weapons they're gonna be in the bottom of this video they're not completely published yet so they may look kind of cartoony and unfinished that's exactly how they should be because again they're still working on the game and the coding and all that kind of stuff so it's not gonna be complete when you check out the images in the description of this video but uh, I am kind of guesstimating that we could see these weapons come to infinite warfare sometime next month in August but again that's just my guess and I'm pretty sure that these three weapons are gonna be free for everyone but maybe the venom x might be exclusive to zombies only i'm not really sure about that one there's a lot of people right now that do think that the venom x is going to be exclusive to zombies uh, i'm not really sure i'm hoping that it can be in multiplayer as well because the gun was really fun to use back in the day on dome and uh, so yeah hopefully that does come to multiplayer but again tell me your thoughts about these weapons in the comment section down below and also if you guys are hyped for them or not also drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and thanks so much for watching i'm a very time of the day till next time i'll see you guys later